Hey guys, it's Wes. If you're looking for a way to fully support your team in Destiny content, it's time to try and strain Warlock build with this center taff exotic helmet. It's undeniably the ugliest exotic in Destiny 2 right now, in my opinion that is. But it's also one of the best ways to support a team to victory in this game. All you need to do is to equip this exotic with a trace rifle and you can become the best supportive teammate for any content. Cenotaph Exotic Armor Perk is called High Priority. Steadily reloads a portion of your equipped trace rifle magazine from reserves, damaging a vehicle, boss, or champion with a trace rifle marks them as the target. When an ally defeats the marked target, special ammo is generated for you and heavy ammo for your allies. Translation shoot big baddies with your trace rifle you will mark them if you let your teammates kill them you get special ammo and your teammates get heavy ammo simple as that and you know when a target is marked because you see the timer on screen and you also know when heavy ammo is dropped for your teammates because it says ammo finder on screen and you see special ammo for you on the ground it's good stuff now, it does not matter what subclass you use, so long as you have this helmet on and a trace rifle equipped, you are in business. I have tried this setup on both Solar and Strand, two of my favorite subclasses for the Warlock, and it works great. All of that said, I'm going to show you the build that I use for my Strand Warlock with Cenotaph. The build is simple. And because I don't want to waste a lot of your time with going over every single piece of mod or armor, I just ask that you take a look at the build on screen. And I will also put the Destiny Item Manager link for the build in the description, as well as in the pinned comment. That way you can make changes as you see fit for your needs. However, I want to talk about the weapons and the artifact mods. Before that, you might want to know why using strength. Well, the strain kit is really strong this season, and we have a lot of great options for strain weapons. Especially now that we have a legendary strain trace rifle with some great perks. I'm talking about the incisor trace rifle from Trials of Osiris. I know, I know, not everybody plays Trials, but that's okay. We have lots of other options, which I will talk about. However, if you can get your hands on this new Trials of Osiris trace rifle, it will be good for business. And it's the only one of its kind in the game right now. That's why I grinded for it even though I'm not a PvP sweat lord. In any case, for heavy weapon, I go with Dragon's Breath and I highly recommend you do the same. Dragon's Breath has become one of the best DPS options in the game. With this build set up, while your priority is to mark targets and create heavy ammo for your teammates, Shooting your Dragon's Breath also provides big DPS as well as ads clearing for the team. This means you're helping your teammates kill big enemies faster by dishing out some big DPS to those big enemies and you get special ammo faster too. You just have to make sure they get the kill. Also important to mention when you are in a final boss phase you are not worrying about heavy and special ammo to drop. You want to put out some big DPS together with your team. This build can do that. And this is where you take the opportunity to shoot your Dragon's Breath, switch to your Trace Rifle, which will do a lot of DPS since the helmet is feeding your Trace Rifle ammo from reserves. While at the same time, your Dragon's Breath reloads in the background and ready to go for another shot. Rinse and repeat. That is why this ugly helmet is extremely deadly and supportive at the same time. Now for the other weapon slots, I sometimes run double trace rifles, one strand and one solid, depending upon the activity. And for our option, as I already mentioned, the Trials of Osiris trace rifle has some great perks that synergize very well with this build. There are at least two in particular that I use with this build. One with Slice and one with Hatchling. Mostly I like to use the one with Slice because once you slice a target, they do less damage to you. Slice is all around a great perk. Unfortunately, I was not able to get the Trace Rifle with both Slice and Hatchling. 
that would have been nice. But I kept trying. The other setup I sometimes use is a strain primary in the kinetic slot and a solar trace rifle in the energy slot. This setup allows me to consume my grenade and devastate the enemy with my strain primary. At the same time, I can switch to my trace rifle in the energy slot and mark targets for my teammates when necessary for heavy ammo. All around you have some great flexible weapon options for the build and I think it could work for anyone. Whether or not you have the Trials of Osiris Legendary Strand Trace Rifle. Now, as far as the artifact mods are concerned, we can find some great benefits for the build. Particularly the one showing on screen right now. You still have plenty of time to enjoy these benefits from the Season of the Wish artifact. However, this build will remain relevant beyond this season. At least I think so. The important thing about this build is that you are not only playing the support role, but you also playing a big part in DPS for the team. Anyway, hopefully you give this build a try. Thanks for watching. I will talk to you guys in the next one.